As another school year kicks into high gear, it's important for us to remember the challenges our local educators and students face during the pandemic. But they all continue to be the rock stars they are by stepping up and adapting to whatever's thrown their way. So consider today a pep rally for teachers and students, and it's one that is rooted in kindness. Salisbury Secretary of Kindness, Grace Foxwell Murdoch, joins us this afternoon, along with Pastor Martin Hudson of the Community of Joy Church of the Brethren. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having it's us. Delighted. Guys, okay. Let me ask you, we're what we're talking about is, is the launch for your Adopt-A-School Morale Boosting Program. Explain. That's a mouthful, isn't it, it Jimmy? Is. <laughs> I'll let him say it. <laughs> and it has a lot of benefits for everyone. And our Adopt-A-School Program is born from our concern for our schools, our teachers, the staff, and the students, and our community. Because if our schools are going great, it helps our community, doesn't it? Yep. So we have made a plan that businesses, companies, even individuals could adopt a school, 27 of them in Wicomico County, and do four projects during the school year to boost morale. And it has a threefold benefit because we uh, gain good feelings from kindness in three ways, by committing to the project and creating it, by receiving, if you're receiving mm -hmm. kindness you benefit, and even if you witness it. Wow. So threefold, win, win, win. Yeah. yeah. And so what kind of projects are you talking about? We are talking about projects that we have already developed. Mm -hmm. All the links are provided for the companies. They know right where to go and get mm -hmm. the things. We have ideas of one. Yeah. I'll show you one very simple one. Yeah. And that is just the company can go to Dollar Tree by brown packing paper mm -hmm. and with the use of a few pens write positive messages and then deliver it to the school. Oh my goodness. And every school will have a point person mm -hmm. and they will manage the delivery mm -hmm. and find the space at the school. Win, win, win. Boy, I think so. Simple and effective. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Pastor, let me ask you this. You, uh, your church has been a partner with Pinehurst Elementary for, for years? For 15 years. For 15 years now. Yep. So how does this work in with what you're doing? So it, it actually came from uh, my noticing that last year during the pandemic, the educators that I'm in regular connection with each week in a prayer time and, and other times I'm in the school, uh, we're struggling. You know, it's, it's been hard. It's, it's been hard mm -hmm. um, emotionally. It's been hard mentally. It's been hard physically. You, you don't know what's happening. And so uh, we wanted to do something to encourage, uh, to um, thank them, to appreciate them, to just help them stay in the game. Uh, so I did a Facebook post and I asked uh, what was it that they had happened that helped them make it through the year and what didn't they have that they needed. And one of the things that they uh, strongly said was that the little things, you know, mm -hmm. the, the bowl of candy that you uh, leave at the front office by the mailboxes, um, the, the lunch, the, the, the whatever, the note, uh, handwritten note that just says, hey, we appreciate you. Uh, it means a lot. It helps them stay in the game. How about that? Yeah, you mentioned the candy and you've got, what is this, a puzzle here you got going on? What yes. did you guys bring with you today? Well, that puzzle is one of the projects and I sent the links to the, for the companies. Mm -hmm. They'll be, all come in a packet of the links. And what you do is you just buy a few puzzles, yep. put them in their work areas. So as they are working on uh, their uh, papers or anything they have to be doing, they could put a couple pieces of puzzle in. And puzzles are supposed to be calming. Now I have to say, if you don't like a puzzle and they, <laughs> they, they, they make you upset, <laughs> pass it by. But it's just an easy way that they can have just a few pieces of escape as they're walking through right. their work areas. So when you guys are helping the teachers, that in turn kind of benefits the students. Absolutely. Right? Whenever you boost morale, you get more productivity, you get happier people. Mm -hmm. The two things that people who are employed love are recognition and appreciation. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to do because our educational system is educating our future. Yeah. And we need them to be up to the task. And we just want them to know that we appreciate them. 
So we just need to climb on board. Absolutely. And we've only got 27 schools, so I'm thinking we're going to have companies that are really going we to go so. after sure. uh, and this it's, school. It's not just the teachers. Mm -hmm. It's the whole staff. Whole staff. You know, the front office staff, they deal with it. Uh, the janitorial staff, yeah. the cafeteria staff. Everybody. everybody in the school system, including the people at the board level, uh, both elected and uh, employed. The, it's been a struggle. Uh, to figure out and they need our support and encouragement. All and right. all the projects are very reasonable. Yeah. They don't cost a lot of money and four times a year, October, November's one, January's one, March and May. Now they can do it more often if they want. They can think of their own project. We just have to remember to follow guidelines so everybody's safe. So get Absolutely. in there and get after it. Salisbury Secretary of Kindness, Grace Foxwell Murdoch and Pastor Martin Hutchinson, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks, Thanks a lot. We recognize and appreciate you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. All right. <laughs>